right, so we always have 104.1. First book of ratings come out. It's 2007. All right. Um, like I said, we had a big old debut in the Post Dispatch. Kevin Johnson, the writer, not the guy who did the murder in Kirkwood, but Kevin Johnson, the esteemed writer for the Post Dispatch, who been there probably since the East St. Louis riots. But he been there forever. But he wrote a big old, big old story on us. So we came in with a bang. All right. Like I said, books came out three months later. The white folks pulling us in the office. Not to say all the black folks at the station was hating, but Boogie D wasn't trying to tell us these are the largest numbers we've seen in the WHHL history. But the white folks showed us the paper. They let us know, hey, we ain't never seen numbers like this before. Now, that's not to be cocky or nothing. Like I said, nothing I'm telling you is lies. All factual, factual. Now, Boogie D was a program director. He'd been in the game for a minute. He from New York. If you ever met a person from New York, know somebody from New York, they kind of cocky. They could come off as bravado. I've been around people from New York, so it don't offend me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we just sometimes have cultural barriers that we, once we break them, we cool with each other. Now, I try my hardest to be cool with Boogie, and Boogie is I. Right. It's not like I hate him. It's just, he just all right. Okay? But this man made it so hard for me, I don't know what he had against me. I was getting wrote up for the smallest eensy beensy stuff that I think he was just trying to build a case to fire me for whatever reason. Like I said, I showed up for work every day, on time, 30 minutes early, stayed after, did commercials, this is my dream job. I ain't did nothing to mess it up. I remember I got wrote up one time for saying, put it in the air. We used to do live broadcast from Club Onyx. If you ever went to Club Onyx on the east side, you know that basement, right? So I put on a commercial, and they got that good old basement where you can put it in the air. He wrote me up. His rationalization was, we got kids that listen to the station they don't need to know about putting it in the air. But they don't need to know about putting it in the air, which I didn't say what we was putting in the air. They don't need to know about having drink specials at the club. They don't need to hear us play a song called Make a Juice Box Wet. That was a time when Barack and Hillary was running against each other. Barack won. I said, yay, he knocked the white woman out. They use that reference in competition all the time. I got wrote up for it. 